So let's have a look at the three main protocols that are used with inside email SMTP, which is used to send email, POP3 and IMAP, which are used to read emails. So first let's look at the simple ma mail transport protocol. The architecture for email is typically like this. We have an email gateway and the email gateway will receive messages which will be sent on to an email server or a post office. So in this case the email client communicates with the email gateway, the gateway queues them and then when ready we'll send it on to the email server. If the email server is down then the email gateway will cache the messages. Once they arrive at the email server the client can obviously go and have a look at them. So SMTP is used to send the emails and IMAP and POP3 and uh, MS Exchange are used to actually read the email messages. By default, the port that we use for SMTP is port 25. Unfortunately, it sends plain text messages which can be easily read by someone sniffing the line. Also, it's been used a lot in spam email messages. So in, in many corporate networks, port 25 is blocked by the firewall so that an uh, email client can't send to a remote email gateway. It may be possible on the corporate network to do this, but not through the firewall. And we'll see how we can test that if we just bring up our simple our simple email client here. So we're using uh, Firebird. Thunderbird, sorry, uh, here. Uh, so we've set up uh, an email account here. So the one thing to see here is uh, we're using an SNTP server on port 25. So the quick way to find out that we're actually running, that we're allowed through the firewall, as we can tell that. And we want to connect here on port 25, and everything's fine there. So that means that uh, we're not blocked by the email server, by the firewall. The other port that we can use uh, for encrypted traffic using secure sockets, which we'll see in, in, in one of the next modules, is to use 587. So that allow, is allowed through the firewall and we can contact the SMTP gateway. The SMTP gateway will send to the post office and then we can actually read the messages. The commands that we actually use, uh, and you must remember that many of these protocols were created at a time when you used to actually have to type the commands, is that there's a hello domain, mail from, receipt to, and each time we get uh, an OK message. So this shows an example here. There's the hello message, there's the message from, receipt to, and so on. So we should actually be able to type those commands. If we ever needed to. Okay, so we tell what our domain is. Mail from and so on. So we'll just quit. We won't send the email. The one thing to notice here is that the end of the message is represented by a dot without anything else on that line. When the dot is received, then the message is actually sent. The actual format for an email message looks like this. We see there are lots of extra information which is not actually shown on the browser. 
subject field is, to and from, but all this other information contains things about the message, uh, what the SMTP really sent it and so on. So if we have a look at our, our Thunderbird client again, Uh, we can often look at the source of the message and you can see here this is what the message actually looks like and there are a lot of other things in there such as the time it was sent any r who they really was and any intermediate steps along the way so sometimes if we don't quite trust an email message we might actually have to look at the full details of it uh, this is actually using MIME, which allows you to, to add attachments and to segment your email up. Okay, so that's, that's what SMTP actually looks like. So what we'll do is we'll actually send an email and we'll bring up Wireshark. get it to listen on one of our interfaces just need to watch where the traffic is and then we'll listen on uh, port equals 25 so there's nothing there just now as we can see and we'll bring up our client again Okay, so we're going to send from this account. Okay, so the minute we send, hopefully our client will actually send the email message on port 25. So we can see here our standard Sin, Sinak, Ak, and then there's the messages after it. So what we'll do is we'll follow that TCP stream. Then we can see there's the hello. We've just given our domain, which is just our IP address. And then we've already authenticated to the server, so we then send an authenticated hash. Uh, and then we can actually define who it's from, who it's to. There's the data, you can see the message there. At the very end, there's a dot on its own, which means that's the end of the message. It's then accepted, and then it's just, uh, we get an OK at the end, and that's been sent. And so now we'll look at a protocol that we can actually read our email from our post office, and that's IMAP4. With this, we use setting commands. There's our login, select our inbox, and then it responds back with the number of unseen messages that there is, and the number of email messages there are in, the, in our inbox, and so on. Here, uh, we're actually fetching an email with the body and the header and we can actually uh, delete messages and eventually log out. The standard port that we use for IMAP is port 143 but again we can use a secure uh, connection with 993 and again this allows us to get over any firewall problems. Okay so let's do the same again what we'll do is we'll bring up our email package and again we'll bring up Wireshark this time we'll listen on, on port 143 and there isn't anything just now
So what we'll do is we'll send ourselves an email. And hopefully that will send and also receive. Okay, so what we see here is you can see the email coming in on our IMAP and there we go so let's have a look at the full stream here let's try that again So we'll just capture again. And capture from there. We define our port. That's 143. Okay, so what's happened there is that we've actually requested our email. So let's Delete it. We can see there's the delete happening. There's the command there to move it into to trash. So that's item number five, each is, uh, each is listed with a number, and so let's see if we can reply here. Again, we see our, our activity here. Okay, so this is uh, this shows us that we can actually we can do a peek with the uh, IMAP, where we can just peek at the headers and so on, so we don't have to download the full of the full email message. Okay, so that gives uh, an example of IMAP. And we'll just quit from there. And we just have a look to see the settings that we can get on our on our account. So in this case it's one four three or nine nine three. So we've set it up for one four three just now because we wouldn't be able to see the messages if it was set on the encrypted port. So let's look at another uh, protocol which is used to read emails and that is POP3. POP3 itself uses either 110 or normally 993. So 110 is the default port that we use and then we use some very simple commands such as username, password, retrieve and, and so on. So let's actually take an example here. So again we'll bring up our client. So in this case I've set up POP3 account and uh, so that's our IMAP one so let's have a look at this one
and we see this one is 110. So though this is our pop account. So again, we could go for SSL, and it should change the port 995 then. But we'll just go for that, and we should be able to see what our server is that we're connecting to. So what we'll do is we'll just connect to pop just to see if it's alive. And it is. And we'll just have a look to see if the IMAP one is alive. Spell it right. And it is. You can just exit from there. Okay, so as as before, what we can actually do is we can uh, bring up Wireshark. And we can listen to port 110. And we have an email message there. get our mail and we should be able to see what it looks like so we'll just read an email message okay so the the main one of the main commands is list and list allows us to to list the email messages that we actually have so if we have a look here there is our five email messages and then that's really just asking to view them and what we'll do is we'll send an email message from here send one to herself so it's came into the IMAP and now it's came into the POP account Uh, so that gives an example of uh, our pop server. Ah, here we go. I've changed this. It should be port. Ah, here we go. So we can actually see our messages actually coming in. The new messages. There we go, there is our message number six, which has just came in. And it's been retrieved.
Okay, so that's an example of uh, of POP3. So we've shown the, an email uh, sending protocol and then two email receiving protocols.